I'm going to start off by doing a, a cipher query to pull just the first thousand nodes from Thomas's XRP dataset. I can look at the properties of these amount, username. I want to look at currencies and see there's actually a lot of different currencies represented in these transactions. XRP, US dollars, but then we've got a whole bunch of other ones as well. They're highlighted when I uh, select them in the pie chart. Back to my label view and select all of the payments. I'm just going to tag these as, as all currencies. And then from there, I want to separate out XRP payments and I'll tag them as well and say XRP. So now I have two, two tags showing XRP and all the rest. And I'm actually going to get rid of all the rest because, you know, we have the, the numerical amount of these transactions, but we don't actually have the value because we're not doing the exchange rate. So I'll delete these. And now I can see most of these transactions are relatively small. We've got some big ones, so I'm actually going to highlight those. You can see they're all in this cluster over here. So I'm just going to delete this one. So I've got a wallet that's activated a bunch of different accounts and made payments to a bunch of different accounts, but there's a, a lot of payments going back and forth from this wallet to this wallet. Red is sent, yellow is received. I'm curious to learn more about this particular wallet and I can expand. I could pull in just the sent or received activity, but I want to see everything that's going on. We've got wallets being created by this account and payments as well. So, so I want to learn a bit more about this cluster over here. I'm going to, again, pull in uh, 2,000 nodes here. This way I know I'm getting pretty much everything. And so we see two other nodes here that are getting a lot of transactions. When I expand these, I see a very different composition in the activity. So this one over here is, is like our previous ones. It's a mixture of outgoing payments and wallets created by this account. Over here, you see we have an account that has no payment activity. It's just been used to, to create a whole bunch of other accounts. And then again, I can scrub through and see when all of this happened and see that with my interesting node down here, the transactions happen later on. And we have this leaf trimming that allows you to basically hide any, anything that has only a single uh, relationship associated with um, I can grab a node and trace neighbors and jump from it to each degree of proximity. Or I can also look at the same thing from a tree view. And Thomas, you were saying this particular cluster represents... Um, Actually, the data set is also enhanced with uh, publicly available uh, information about some of the wallets, like uh, exchange names. So if you can grab that inner wallet in that cluster, you can see it's called the WCG XRP giveaway computing for good. Finding this particular uh, event is, is really cool. I'm just going to make a note of this computing for good. 